the reason that I'm giving this little update here is because when I went to remake that video and add some photographs and things to it, I started realizing that there was so much, so many more people in her little area, at least six people missing from that one general little area in um, hiding and um, I'm not really sure. I don't want to misquote and, and say the wrong place, the wrong location, but I told a friend of mine recently, I said, but until I started making these little videos, I had no idea the number of people missing and unaccounted for in our region in eastern Kentucky. And there are some in the southwest Virginia area as well. I, I could stay busy just doing these stories. And so when I, when I went to remake her video, I realized, and I started looking some of these other people up. And I'm going to try to do a video, if I can find any information, and I may just have to do them in one or two videos and lump them together. It's just according to how much information I can find on each one. In some cases, you will find a whole range of information they may be their story may be covered on 15 or 20 different uh, missing unsolved websites there may be uh, reddit threads facebook pages youtube channels dedicated to these people and then in other cases you will find uh, two or three sentences on on them and so I'm going to create an email address that will, will be just for this YouTube channel. And if anyone has any information on some of these cases that they want to share, they can send it to that email. Now, keep in mind, I, I will quote the source. I will not quote anyone's name. I will not put anyone's name or information. Um, but if it's a source that goes to a web page, such as Unsolved Appalachia or anything of that nature, I will quote them. Because if they've already put it into print, then that's their work. And I'm not going to, you know, read from it and not say where I found that from. But if it's someone who sends me a story or information that they know personally, I will not put their name. I will not put anybody's name or anything like that. And I will just say that this was told to me. And I cannot, you know, confirm it. Unless I can confirm it. If you have concrete uh, confirmation evidence of something and you want to share it, then, you know, I will create an email address. You can do that. I'm not an investigator, I'm not a um, police officer of any sort, I don't have any background in anything like that, I'm just a woman from Eastern Kentucky who's, uh, the very first video that I made, I made for my best friend because we have this mutual interest in these types of stories, and she said, I really enjoy that, you should add that to YouTube, and I did. And, so I uh, sent links to a few of my close friends and a few people started to follow the channel. And if you want to hit the subscribe button, if you haven't already, I would appreciate it. And I would appreciate if you share the videos on social media or, you know, on your own page or whatever. You don't have to, but, you know, if you want to, it would help me out. Um, just to have more followers to get my stories out there to a larger audience. I had a lady comment on one of my videos recently. She said, I can't believe you don't have more followers. She said, I really enjoy listening to your videos and the information that you, you know, put up. And um, she said, I'm really surprised you don't have more followers, but I don't. So... My little nephew, he's just getting off the school bus. I probably 
Johnny Freak D my out. I'm going to pull her off right up here because the school bus is in front of me going up and I know what's going to happen. By the time I get to my driveway, they're going to be turned and coming back down. And so therefore, I'll probably meet them on the way back out. Maybe I won't. I'm, I'm pretty close to them, behind them, but they, t they don't have to go very far past my driveway to turn, and I'm just afraid that by the time I get to my driveway, they'll be coming back down, and then I'll have to back up. <laughs> and I'll live up in a holler, if y'all couldn't tell it, because it's one lane, and you cannot get over anywhere, so, um, yeah, I'll be okay, because they're stopping right here, letting these kids off. Oh gosh, this little one, he's so little. I can't even believe he's still, he's in school. My gosh, he don't look like he's hardly old enough to be out of diapers. Gosh, these little kids going to school and they're hardly even big enough to bless their hearts. Well, y'all, I didn't mean to get started talking about something completely different. But I do live up in a holler in eastern Kentucky. So I'm just like the people that I talk about. A lot of the, I, I have covered some stories that are not local. I've talked about the boy in the box from Philadelphia. And I've talked about a few other cases like that that are not local. But most of the stories that I talk about are people right here in Appalachia, in eastern Kentucky, southwest Virginia. And I have this kinship to these people and to their families because this is where I'm from. This is where I grew up. And I, 